Rochester, Minnesota, and the heat has been a little tough. Staying in the van and checking out the local area. And I have to find beautiful spots like this so that I can survive and enjoy this area. Anyway, I thought I'd show you this beautiful tree. Isn't it nice? Okay, talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bye. Hi everybody, this is Beach Cricket. And today's video is going to be about taking care of your pets when you are traveling with them in your van and living with them in your van. It is so crucial to make sure that they are safe, comfortable, and they are well cared for. Okay, I have two. I have Roxy and I have Riley. And Roxy is three, Riley is one. They are a handful. I mean, pets are. They're like children. They're your family. So you have to make um, everything in the van like they're one. Now, when we were in our bricks and sticks, they always stayed in their dog house. They slept in it, and when they were tired or whatever, they always went to it. So that was their little safe haven. And so when I decided to go on this journey and live in a van, I knew that that doghouse was going with me. So what we did is we did a test run for two weeks. I brought the uh, doghouse into the van and we slept in the van for two weeks to make them, you know, see how they would do. And they did really quite well. They um, were able to get up and down the stairs. They felt secure because that was their little doghouse. They had no problem. So it went really well. I think that's really um, very important to make sure that your pets are used to your van before you actually go out and travel and live in it. Okay, when it's bedtime, I think it's very important to have a place for them and when you travel, have a place for them that they are secure and they are safe. Now a lot of you sleep with your pets and maybe that's fine with you and you can um, you know, accumulate that into your lifestyle and there's no problem. Now with me it is and it might be for some of you so I'm giving you my viewpoint on that. I always had them sleep with me. Um, they would sleep with me and then they go to their dog house at the house. But in the van they were a little scared and they didn't know what was going on and they just got really, really closer to me because we were doing more things together. We were going on more walks, we were playing more together and so they wanted to sleep and be snuggly with me and at first I let that happen and it was a nightmare. I could not sleep. They were all over me. They were hogging the area that I'm sleeping in. Uh, they were on my head. They were having midnight snack raves, you know, and uh, just all kinds of things. So I had to put them in their doghouse so that I could sleep and I could get some rest. Because if I'm going to be tired and cranky, I'm not going to be a good pet parent. So, you know, and I'm not going to travel well. So it's a win-win for all of us if we all get rest. And so that's what I had to do. Uh, keep food and water at all times available for them because you don't know when they're hungry or tired and want you know something to uh, make them feel better or if they're thirsty okay uh, plan your trips with them in mind and what I mean by that is if it's hot weather you want to plan things that y'all could do together that um, everybody is okay and comfortable you know whether it's going to the beach or a park or whatever you need to think about that. I'm certainly not going to leave my dogs in a hot van in the summertime. There's no way. And so I always plan for uh, them in mind when I'm going to different places. Generally what I do is when I go into an area, I'm uh, researching and seeing if they have dog parks and what kind of parks are available for us to visit and get exercise and let them play. Because I need to decompress. I mean, they've been, they've been in um, a secured area for a period of time and they want to get out there and run you know so it's uh it's very crucial for that all right uh shopping when you're getting supplies it's uh it's 
it's a weather thing again. You always have to make sure that they are going to be safe and comfortable in the van. So if it's hot, I wait at nighttime when the weather is cooled down and I go at night and get supplies. And in the winter time, I usually generally um, put an extra blanket in there in their, in their um, secured area in their doghouse so that they're warm and I won't have to worry about them because I'm not going to leave a heater on in here and don't worry about them, you know, being harmed in any way. So that's very important. Uh, always keep um, them on a leash when you are going out on adventures because you never know the reaction of other people or their reaction to certain circumstances. You do not want them to bolt and you know be fearful or whatever so always have them on a leash for their safety and your peace of mind um, Roxy is microchipped I don't have Riley microchipped yet but that's one of the safety features that I have you know as far as my peace of mind and um, you always make sure that their ears their um, teeth and their nails are always being watched. Always make sure that their ears are clean. There's no mites, there's no ticks or fleas. Um, their teeth, make sure there's no plaque or tartar on their teeth because these are early signs of little things that could go wrong and cause some health issues for your pet. And clip their nails. This is a biggie with me. Mine were doing fine with that. And then all of a sudden, just recently, they decided that they just don't want any part of that. So I'm battling that right now. But it's very important for their will, well-being to make sure that their nails are so they can walk around and not hurt themselves. Okay. And let's see what else we got here. Always give extra love. I had to write. I had to do notes. Always give extra love because they are your family and I mean you can be out of the room or out of the van in three seconds and come back and they think you've been gone for a million years so <laughs> it's just weird how they are they love unconditionally and they're just great pets so you know give them the hair brushings um, just play around with them whatever you know advantage you can you know take them out roll around in the grass I did that the other day in a park I just took them out there and we all got them, like got down on the grass and we just rolled around and fought and played and it was so much fun and they loved it and uh, also wipe them down I have the little um, sanitizer wipes that I keep handy for them it's a nurturing loving thing that they really enjoy. I wipe them down with it every morning. I wipe their little faces down and kind of wipe their body off a lot. And they're just like, they love it. So it's it's a loving thing for them. And plus it, you know, gets some of the dirt off of them. And um, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed everything. And I hope that these tips are helpful. Beach Cricket out. Bye. Hey, peekaboo. Is this your dog house, girls? Is this your dog house? Yes. Is this where you stay? Huh? Is this where you stay, girls? Look at mommy. Yes. Yes, it is. Hello. This is their little dog house. And I have a baby gate in front of it right now. A lot of times when we're parked and I'm doing some little chores. I'm usually parked under a nice tree so we get the shade. I open the door. I have a baby gate and the air can flow in here so that the baby's getting some breezes. Yeah. There's my babes. Roxy and Riley. What are y'all doing? You think you're going to escape, don't you? Ha ha ha. You think mommy's going to let you come out? Huh? Is that what you think? Girls, <laughs> alrighty, that's my girls, Roxy, Riley, there she is, yeah, yeah, those are my babies, love them very much, and I just want to make sure that they are loved and taken care of, 
They're my kids. They're my fur kids. Yes.